Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. All right, today we're gonna talk about something fun. We're gonna talk about quotations and how to escape them in Bash. This is something that trips a lot of people up. If you've ever seen someone use the shell and they really don't know what they're doing, I'm talking about you. You know I'm talking about you. Where something breaks because a quote is not closed or something's open, you don't really know what's going on. You're like, oh, I got single quotes here and I don't know how to escape it. How do I escape a single quote and a single quote? You're probably in too deep. You probably need to step back and reevaluate what you're doing with your life, but we're here, all right? And we're gonna figure out how to do it, okay? I'm gonna walk you along. You can feel safe now. I'm here, I'm by your side. Let's do this, let's, uh, let's escape some quotes. All right, so first things first, let's open up our first script we have here. We have two variables, single and double. Why are they called that? Because single has single quotes in it and double has double quotes in it. So as you can see, this string has single quotes in it and it has double quotes surrounding it. This one has single quotes around it, but it has the double quotes in it. And there's nothing tricky about this. Don't worry, I'm not fooling you, all right? We're gonna run this, and it's gonna work exactly how you think. The strings get printed, no problem. We have single quotes, we have double quotes. As you know, if you use double quotes in Bash, parameters will get expanded, and variables will get expanded. If you use single quotes, they will not get expanded, all right? I don't need to harp on that, but uh, something to uh, something to keep in mind, all right? So let's look up a different example. We have both, all right? So we have this string, it's open and closed with double quotes, and inside it we have single and double quotes in it. Hey, that's cool. We use double quotes to actually create the string, and inside we can have double quotes. We just have to escape them. The reason we escape them, we put a backslash in front of them, is to sort of say, hey, we're not closing the string yet. We actually want this literal quotation to be in the string. And again, no trickery here. We run it, and it works. All right, let's move on. We have another script. We have this script called uh-oh. And why is it called uh-oh? Because this has a single quote in it, but as you can see, it's using single quotes to escape it. So will this work? As you can see, the syntax highly thinks that this word single is uh, something special. So question, will this work? Well, let's find out. The answer is no. <laughs> it lost the single quote. It worked in the sense that it printed it, but it lost the single quote. Why? Because we open the string here. We close the string here. But then we just keep putting data here, and then we reopen, and then we close again. But in Bash, as long as they're all next to each other, they'll all get stored as a string. So how do we keep these single quotes in here without changing these surrounding ones to double quotes? What we have to do is we have to put an escaped single quote here, and then we can reopen the string, then we can close the string here, put an escaped single quote, and then reopen it. So what do we have here? We have three single quotes here. Why do we have three? Because we have one at the beginning, so we have to close that one at the beginning. Okay, we closed it there. Then in here, we put a literal single quote. So this is our way of saying we're not opening another string. And then this one right here, we are opening another string. And then we just do the exact same thing here. So when we run this, we get, look at that. We now have a single quote in it. Awesome, how great is that? That's cool. Kind of weird, but cool. All right, and then what do we have for the last one? Here is a little treat for you guys. This is called a here doc. Now this is super useful. So in this example, I'm using the read command here. And the read command allows me to take data from standard, in this case, from standard input and read it into a variable. So read, I'm using dash R, this is raw input, dash D, and I set the delimiter to nothing. The reason I do this, because otherwise it would, be, uh, it would be separating it on new lines, so we get rid of that. We have my var name, that's just the name of the variable that we're saving the data into. And then this is the important part, this is the meat of it right here, all right? We have less than less than hyphen EOF. That means it's gonna read everything until it sees this exact string of characters, EOF, it sees EOF down here, and bam, now we have this string. It has double quotes in it, it has single quotes in it, we don't have to escape anything. We can even look in variables, we can do variable expansion like user and home, and if we you know, run it, we get, oh, that's not right. If we run it, we get that whole string. Look how awesome that is, and you can see it got the variables, it expanded them exactly how we wanted them to. That is pretty neat. You might be thinking, oh, but I didn't want them to expand, what can I do? Well you can quote EOF. So you can just put EOF in quotes and then you can see these stop being syntax highlighted. And then if we run the here doc command again, you'll see that dollar user and dollar home were not expanded. Put quotes around EOF if you wanna stop expansion, don't put any quotes and you will get variable expansion. All right, and that is a crash course on escaping quotes and bash.